Hey, welcome back. It's Rob with Open Source Classroom. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, an exercise that can help you practice uh, your soldering skills. We're going to be soldering plain resistors to a PCB board. Both resistors and PCB boards are extremely cheap. Uh, it's very easy to set up and uh, it's, a, it's a good exercise if you want to uh, uh, up your solder skills. So let's take a look. Okay, now we're going to begin to prepare our circuit board with the resistor so that we can solder it. But let's take a look at our PCB board here. Notice how on one side there are no copper plates and on the other side there is copper plates. This side with the copper plates is the side that we're going to want to solder our component to. So when you pull your resistor out, you're going to want to bend the leads and place the component on the non-copper plated side. That way when we solder, the leads will be sticking out the other end. And you can go ahead and if you just bend both of the leads out at a slight angle, that will hold the component in place and keep it from falling through when you go to solder. Now I'm going to grab my, my helping hands and let's go ahead and lock this guy in place. I'm going to turn on my soldering station. And these HACO stations are really nice. They heat up very quickly. In the meantime, while it's heating up, let me just go over some basics again real quick. All right. When soldering onto a PCB board, what we want to do is we want to use the soldering iron to heat up the lead and the copper plate uh, as quickly as we can. And this will take about a second. So if I stick my iron uh, onto the solder joint, heat it up for about one second, then when I bring the solder in, it should melt almost immediately. Okay, and and when placing the solder into the, when creating the solder joint, remember, we are trying to solder the lead and the copper plate together. So that's where you're going to want to stick the solder. You don't want to stick the solder onto the soldering iron. Okay, let's give it a practice here. Now remember, I'm going to heat it up for a second, and then I'm going to bring in uh, the solder. So. and we end up with a decent solder joint. All right, let me try again on this back one. Bring it in, heat it up for a second, and voila. Now, a couple of things that you'll wanna look for, okay? Too much solder. If you notice that it's a teardrop shape, like here, let me show you. So, I'm gonna load up uh, another resistor real quick. through on the other side okay then leads out just a little bit and okay now this is what I would call too much solder see that that is way too much solder, all right? And then you can tell that you have too little amount of solder if you go to solder, if you notice that there's, if there's not solder all the way around the lead coming out the copper plating, you literally wanna make like a little TP. If you end up with a teardrop, that's too much solder, but. All right, now I know I only showed you a few resistors, but I would recommend loading 40 or 50 uh, resistors onto a PCB board and just solder away. Uh, you'd be amazed as to if you put five or 10 minutes into practicing soldering, how, how far your skills can come. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click subscribe and uh, we'll be back with something new next time. Thanks.